The Running Utes run their non-conference home winning streak to 28 games, and now they turn their attention to the new year. Casey, did they get everything they wanted out of this final non-conference tune-up? Yes and no. On the defensive side of the ball, they didn't. They give up 74 points to an NAIA Division II basketball team and give up 14 three-point shots. But, yes, on the offensive end, five Utes in double figures. They, they played an excellent, complete all-around game on that side of the ball. Let's start with that rocket-fast start by the Oats. They come in here, and they've got a chance to play their first-ever top 25 team, and they go up by 14. I mean, I, I didn't know what to say, and neither did the folks here at the Huntsman Center. The Yotes come in and make their first four three-point shots, go up 16-2, to two, led by Dominic Jordan with the Odell Beckham Jr. hair. I love it. But... You know, Utah has struggled to guard the three-point line all season, and tonight was no exception. Again, the Yotes make 14 three-point shots, although it did take them 39 attempts to get there. So Utah has a likely lottery pick at center. We know that. This non-conference, I think, has been a lot about the complementary pieces, the role players. We've talked about Jordan Leverage. Kyle Kuzma continues to play well. Now Dakari Tucker looks like the marksman he's always been off the bench. Yeah, both Brandon Taylor and Dakari Tucker are important pieces to this basketball team going forward. But tonight it was Dakari Tucker's night, the senior from Los Angeles with a season-high 17 points. And he was also passing the ball. He had three assists. He also rebounded the ball, had seven rebounds. That beautiful dunk, and then, of course, the patented corner three-point shot. Dakari Tucker has got to be very confident heading into Pac-12 play. A new season high with 17 points, a career high with seven rebounds. As you look at the final stats, also important for Brandon Taylor, as you said, to get going. He made three threes. He had a season high 15 as well. So in po a positive offensive signs in particular as they look ahead to their Pac-12 opener New Year's Day against Stanford. A 115-74 win over the College of Idaho, the third time this season they've eclipsed the century mark.